Let's now learn how to score and display points on leaderboards. So here first, I want to show you the, the script to our leaderboard. For more information about the script, you can refer to our prior tutorial on leaderboard. Now let's take a look at how we can score points and how to display the points on our leaderboard. Here we have a script to create an object. This is also from our prior tutorial on how to create different objects in Roblox. The code I have added is down here. We have added a touch event to this part that we're creating up here. Basically, it's going to take three seconds before this part is created, before it appears in the workspace. And the part has a touch event. Here, we're checking that it's a humanoid that is touching the part. This is our debouncing variable. And to put the points on the leaderboard, we need to get the player. So we're getting the player from the character. This is our character. So this here is going to return the player. We learned this in our prior tutorial. So player here is the player that controls the character. And to get to the leaderboard, we just have to follow this path. So it's player.leaderstats.score. Score is our score column in the leaderboard. And we're just adding one to that column. We're gonna give it one second, and we're gonna set the we're gonna reset the debouncing variable. So now the part can be touched again. How about we play test with two players? All right. So here we are. I believe this is player number two on this side. I'm gonna start with player number two, and player number two got some points. He has five points. And now I'm going to go to player number one. Player number one now has zero points. He's going to score some points. He got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Player number one has ten points. Going back to player number two. Player number two is going to score some more points. And that is how you score points and display them on the leaderboard in Roblox.